My name is Victoria Tilson. I am in my 40s and I live in the seaside town of Whitehead in County Antrim. I live here with my husband Nigel and my three children, Hannah, Lila and Toby. I'm a busy mum of three, so don't always have an awful lot of time for myself. But one thing I never neglect is my yearly mammogram at the Family History Breast Clinic. So the pain of losing my own mum in my 30s is the reason that I attend the clinic so um, regularly. Um, I can't describe, there's no word to describe how the impact of losing my mum had on me. She was my rock, she was my best friend and really now I want to make sure that I take every step possible so that I'm here for my children. So my mum's name was Glad and she was first diagnosed when she was in her 60s, just six months after I'd had my first child, Hannah. So the shock was unreal, as you can imagine. But the great news at the time was that she had her mastectomy and um, there was no cancer in her lymph nodes, so she didn't need any follow-up treatment apart from taking um, daily medication. However, our world came crashing down then just after she'd had her five-year clearance um, when it, the cancer had returned. Um, the breast cancer had returned but in her liver and in her bones. Um, so that was a very big shock for all of us and she was given a year to live. So it was at this stage that my mum contacted the family breast clinic because in her usual style she was looking out for my sister and I and she wanted to make sure that we were cared for and that if there was any risk that um, it was managed for us. And it, it turned out that my sister and I are deemed to be at moderate risk of breast cancer. So I do find it scary that we're deemed to be at moderate risk of developing breast cancer. However, the fact that my sister Philippa and I both attend now the, the clinic gives me reassurance that if something, if breast cancer does develop, it will only have been a year since my last mammogram and we all know that early detection leads to better outcomes. So it does give me massive reassurance to attend the clinic. I'm not going to lie, I do find having my mammogram scary also. Every year when I'm waiting for my results, my heart's in my mouth. I can't really think of much else until I get the results back. Um, and one year I was actually contacted and I still remember it vividly. It was the Friday of Mother's Day weekend and I received a phone call from the clinic to say that they had detected a mass and just wanted to do further, further exploration. Um, I had myself dead and buried, as you can imagine. I thought, this is the last Mother's Day I'm going to have with my children. It was awful. It was really terrible. But the great thing was, I was brought in that Monday and had an ultrasound. And thankfully, it was um, it was nothing to be worried about. Um, and it also brings back just the emotions, I suppose, of going to the clinic and finding out that mum had breast cancer. Um, but the superb thing is that you're not kept waiting for long. Over the years, I've also had a couple of scares. Um, one of them being I found a, bre a lump in my breast on New Year's Day. Another time I had this weird sensation ongoing in my breast and I was able to phone the dedicated um, helpline that the clinic has, which is, gives me massive reassurance because it means that I can phone, I can bypass GPs who, and go straight to the, the people who know my case history best. You leave a message and they literally phone you back within hours, for me anyway. Um, and it just gives me absolute massive reassurance that if I ever have a problem, I know who to contact and they know what to do. And both times they brought me in really quickly um, uh, for an examination and in the time when I found my lump, um, a scan and it was a real one-stop clinic, you know, where I was able to get reassurance that very day that actually there was nothing wrong. As well as my yearly mammogram, I try and reduce my risks in other ways too, like watching my weight, um, watching my alcohol consumption, not smoking, taking regular exercise and also doing regular self-checks. Um, I do, I love exercising, so, you know, I, I do spin practically every day. I'm a member of the rowing club in Whitehead 
um, which is great not only for exercising, seeing I live right beside the water, but it's great for socialising and meeting new people. And a lot of my friends are in the club. We have a great, we have a great social um, aspect to it as well. So I really enjoy that. And I also do kayaking um, with the uh, with the yacht club in Whitehead. So I belong to a little team, and we all go out. So I really do. Uh, use the benefits of living beside the sea to incorporate into my exercise. I'm also midway through a five-year plan of taking tamoxifen daily. Um, recent research has shown that pre- and post-menopausal women who are at risk of developing breast cancer, if they take this uh, drug, it can reduce the risk. This was a really hard decision for me, though, because I do not take any... Um, medication unless absolutely necessary so to take a, a, a drug for every day for five years was a massive decision for me but I came to the conclusion that if I developed breast cancer in the next five years and I hadn't taken tamoxifen I would never forgive myself so thankfully it's um, I'm absolutely fine on it the only um, side effect I have is hot flushes which are <laughs> unbearable at times but if that's the only side effect I have, then I can absolutely live with that if it's reducing my risk of breast cancer. I always feel very emotional at the Family Breast Clinic. Um, every time I go there, I remember the, the devastation at mum's terminal diagnosis and also her original diagnosis. Um, but I've always been really struck how caring and compassionate and professional um, the people are at the clinic. It really is amazing, the work they do. And it gives me enormous comfort knowing that my sister and I are in their good hands as we live with the risk of developing breast cancer. <laughs>